Welcome to Life Talks with Stephen Marshall. Kamikaze Mindset It was World War II, 1943, when the leaders of Japan's 201st Navy Air Group recruited volunteers to fly suicide missions against the U.S. Navy offensive. Basically, a young Japanese pilot was directed to deliberately fly his specially prepared plane into an American ship to do maximum damage. The nose of that plane was loaded with more than a ton of explosives. There were times when hundreds, even thousands of allies lost their lives because of this death desperate approach. Strangely enough, the Japanese word kamikaze means divine wind, inspired by a strong wind that had dispersed their enemies in ancient times. The greatest losses ever suffered by the U.S. Navy happened at Okinawa when almost 5,000 men were killed because of this kamikaze warfare. Ask yourself this, why was this type of attack so effective? Was it because of the massive amount of explosives the pilots carried? The Japanese possessed those bombs and explosive materials long before they ever employed the kamikaze mindset. What the Japanese suddenly tapped was a mental construct. The leaders and revered mentors of the country began conducting a symphony, that's right, just like an orchestra, where they directed the beliefs they had sown into their young men in harmony with a heroic idea of honor and loyalty until death. Just to volunteer for this assignment was to set Suddenly gain and command great respect, attention, and yes, identity. Overnight, your name had weight, honor, and recognition. You must understand that built into every person is the extreme need and desire to be known. It is a life and death issue. Some equate it to power, so they chase money, fame, and recognition. Others try to barter for it with compromise, affiliation, immorality of one form or another. That's why peer pressure and organizations like gangs are so prevalent. People want to belong. People want to be known. To not be known or significant is probably one of the worst pains a human can endure. To live without identity is to not exist. This requires medication and some form of intoxication to manage. No wonder so many thousands of young Japanese men willingly volunteered to be somebody by flying a certain death mission into the ships of their enemies. They had a built-in mental construct that seduced them into thinking their death would buy them an identity, fame, honor, and finally, worth. Here's the absolute truth, though. Your death can't buy you life. John 3.16 says, quote, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life, end quote. When God says that he gave his son, he's talking about in a sacrificial death. Jesus was on a true God mission, except he not only died, but God raised him up on the third day to rule and reign. Now, King Jesus does not ask us to die for him because our death cannot produce life. His death, on the other hand, has redeemed us from the curse and given us a true identity as children of God. 2 Corinthians 6.18, quote, And I will be a father to you, and you will be my sons and daughters, end quote, says the Lord Almighty. Oh my goodness, what dragon do we have to slay to make this happen? That's the beauty of it. We don't have to because Jesus already has done the sacrificing, the dying, and the triumphant winning. Look at 2 Corinthians 5, 15, quote, And he died for all, so that all those who live might live no longer to and for themselves, but to and for him who died and was raised again for their sake, end quote. Jesus flew a mission to deliver God's love, disarming the power of hell waged against you. Jesus died for you and me, but he has been raised up from the flames of hell he overpowered. Talk about a power release of blessing. You have access to worth, honor, and identity in and through him. Trust in his name and he will establish your true identity. Let go of this dying, sacrificing mental construct the mentors of hell used to lure you into a kamikaze religious belief. There's the fake divine wind and there's the true spirit wind of God. Believe on Jesus and you shall be saved. Let's pray the word. 
Jesus, you died for us and paid the price for our sins. Not only that, you paid the price for us to be identified as God's dear children. We're going to live for you. We're not going to live for ourselves, but to and for you because of you, Jesus. God is a father to us, and we get to be a worthy, honorable, precious member of his family. Luke 10, 20 instructs us to rejoice that our name is written down in heaven. So we do. Thank God that our name is written down in the eternal family album of heaven, all in Jesus' name. Look, if you've been struggling with religious thinking and somehow feeling like you're never enough, reach out to us on our website at allnationschurch.ca. Christ Jesus is our true source of righteousness. Go to the Jesus button and you can contact us through the email link or the available phone number. We want you to know how much God loves you. Please help us by sharing these podcasts with your friends and family. People need hope today.